Good morning, KG2. Today is Monday, M O N D A Y. Monday. M O N D A Y. That's the second day of the week. The date is number nineteen. Two thousand and twenty. Two zero two zero. Today is Monday, nineteen, two thousand and twenty, and the weather today is sunny. It's math time. Today we're going to be talking about the numbers six. And the numbers seven. When we're writing the numbers six and the number seven, remember we start on the magic dot. Here's our magic dot right here. Okay, we start at the magic dot. Go around, curve. And stop. Try that one more time. Magic dot. Go around. Curve. And stop. Now, how about the number seven? Again, we always start with our magic dot. Remember, guys, the magic dot is in the clouds. Here are our clouds here. And below is our grass. So when we're making the number seven, we always put our pencil or our pen, whatever we're writing with, on the magic dot. We're gonna go a sleeping line and a standing line. See how easy that was? Let's try it again. Magic dot in the clouds, sleeping line. And a standing line. That is number seven. Good job. Our task for today is counting six and seven. You're going to count the number of objects on each group out loud. Then you're going to trace and write the numbers. So first, you're going to count the blocks. And whatever number is at the bottom, you're going to write circle. So how many blocks is here? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven blocks here. So we have to trace the number seven. Trace the number seven. And then we're going to write the number seven. Remember, the number seven starts with a sleeping line, standing line. Okay, you're gonna do the same with this one. You're gonna count the blocks out loud. Then you're gonna trace the number six. This time, you're going to just write the number six. Remember, you start at the magic dot. You go around. Little circle and stop. Again, start at the magic dot. Around, touch the grass, come back up, and close your circle. All right, you guys. So you will continue your pages, and happy learning. Good morning, KG. 
guess what I have for you? Extra practice. So we're going to start practicing our addition, just with little numbers, so we can get the hang of how the addition goes. What is addition? Addition, when you see addition, you will see something that looks like this. When you see this sign in between two numbers, let's say we have a zero and a one, this means that we're going to add these two numbers together. Now what does it mean to add? Let's look at this problem here. What's the first number? Correct, the first number is zero, okay? The second number is one, okay? So let's make a problem. If Ms. Prashana had zero apples here plus one apple here, How many apples do I have all together? If I had zero apples the first time in one hand and Lardeen gave me one apple, how many apples do I have now? Correct, I have one apple. Okay, let's say this is number two, okay? Let's say Jed gave me two triangle cookies. One and two. Okay. Jed gave me two triangle cookies. So we're going to cross this out because we're finished with number two. And let's put our addition sign right here. Okay. And then Jude gave me one more triangle cookie. Let's make Jude's cookie, she gave me, she gave me another cookie over here. Okay? Now, we are finished with the number one. So we're gonna cross that out because we used it already. We used two, we finished, plus, one, and then we have to put the equal. So, Jad gave me two triangle cookies, and then Jude gave me one more triangle cookie. So how many cookies do I have in all? Let's count them. One, two, three. So two, Last one equals three. That is how you do addition. Now let's erase this and do the last problem. All right. The last problem is what's the last problem? Three plus three equals. Now let's say that Salma, no, well not Salma, let's say, hmm, Nadine gave me three balls. She gave me three balls. So let's draw our balls. One, she gave me three balls to play with. Two, Three. She gave me three balls. Nadine gave me three balls. So we used the number three. So we're going to make an X on the number three because we're finished with it. Now we're going to put our plus sign over here. Okay. Now, what's the next number? We use this one. What's the next number? Excellent. Number three. So let's say that... Nidal had three more balls he was playing with, and he gave me three balls. So we're going to put the three balls that Nidal gave us over here. So let's put one, two, three, 
two, three. All right. So I have three balls from Nadine and three balls from Nadal. Now, how many balls do I have all together? Because two people gave me balls. So how many balls do I have all together? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many balls do I have all together? Good job. I have six balls. And guess what? That's our number for the week. So this is just extra practice for you guys. So you can go and try to do these by yourself using the examples that I gave you. Happy learning!